So I was gonna go in a different direction with this um, sled from Hobby Lobby. I was gonna do pink and kind of like what I did with my red sled, but I decided I wanna do a gingerbread candy land instead. So I mixed some paints together um, to make this light gingerbread mocha color. And I'm just going to paint the entire sled and the texture from the glitter I think is gonna be okay. It's gonna make it look more like gingerbread, especially because I'm gonna add glitter to it anyway. You won't even notice. Now I'm just gonna use one of my favorite glitters, which is Glitz, and you can buy this at Michael's. It just has such a beautiful shift to it and it picks up whatever you, you put it on. So if you put it on pink, it's gonna reflect more pink and so on. For this gingerbread one, it just kind of looks like a rainbow sugar effect. So now I'm just spreading some lightweight spackle because lightweight spackle does not want to lay down against paint, wood, stuff that, you know, maybe it's not really intended for. It's intended to fix your walls. And instead, here's all these ladies using it for crafts. But I'm just using a star tip. I'm trying to get one solid line. It didn't work. But that's okay. See how I'm going back with the toothpick and I'm cutting in those lines as if I had done it the right way the first time. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that to the back, the other side, and the front. Next, I added some Mod Podge to my spackle to make it a little bit runnier, and I'm making a drip out of that. You just do little random drips, and then you can kind of sculpt them by using a toothpick or a popsicle stick, and then go ahead and glitter them so that it will kind of arrest the movement. Otherwise, gravity will grab them, and they will start running. I just like this as an alternative to puffy paint. I just took some traditional colored Christmas cabochons and I colored them pastel. First I chalk painted, then I painted over with Rosemary and Key West. You can find these cabochons in my shop, glamcandyboutique.se.com. Now I'm using some air dry foam clay. I'm making like a potato shape. This is gonna be the gingerbread body. And then I'm just making a ball for the head. And I make an imprint with my thumb for the smile and then two little divots for eyes. Next, I make two thicker worms and I make those as legs. Just make sure they're about the same size. And then make slightly smaller worms for your arms. Now I make my own resin eyes, but you can buy these on Etsy. I don't sell them, but you can find them. They're a very popular item. And I'm just making a nose out of the air dry foam clay that I have in pink. Next, I'm just adding some fake sprinkles. I do carry these in my shop as well. And I just wanted those as buttons and I wanted to add a little bow and a candy cane. Those are also in my shop.
And now I'm just adding on some false eyelashes. They're just little false eyelashes that you can buy anywhere. And I'm just gluing them on with some tacky glue. She is very glamorous. They are a little bit too glam though, so I am giving them the little trim. So I'm just taking a piece of scrap styrofoam and I just glued it down with hot glue and I'm just covering it with some spackle and I'm gonna add some glitter. I just needed the elements to be a little bit more lifted up than they were. That tree is from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just positioning my gingy and some sweets. I make this little mini cupcake from a mold. I make it often for a lot of my projects. It's a very useful mold. And then just a little macaron with a bow. I just added the little bow and I decided this needed a little mint cherry. It's whimsical. It can be whatever we want it to be. Next, I'm using my pastel macaron ball sprinkles that are in my shop and I'm just decorating the little Dollar Tree tree with it. This tree lights up, but I just didn't think it really went with the aesthetic of this project. So I'm not worried about changing the batteries or lighting up the tree. It does glow red and really dark colors. It just didn't make sense. So I do this every time and I don't know why I always forget to put the little icing on my Gingy's wrists and ankles. So don't be like me. Do it before you put her in the cart. <laughs> so now I'm just decorating the outside of the cart. And as you can see, like I was very unsure about what I wanted to do for the final design. I ended up with an S here, which is just the lightweight spackle. I added glitter to it. I tried some candies. I didn't like that. <laughs> I did like these three candies that I put on the sled in the different colors though. Tried another S, didn't like that. <laughs> Luckily it was dry and it cleaned it up very well. And then I just added a uh, snowflake applique. Now I'm just adding an accent with that spackle again and I'm just smoothing it out as it needs to be. And I'm just gonna add some glitter and make sure you don't forget to decorate the other side of your sleigh. And as a final touch, I'm just putting some snow on the front of the sleigh. Snow, icing, whatever it is. <laughs> And here's the back of the sleigh and here's the front isn't she so cute i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i so would appreciate it if you subscribe it means the world to me and please leave me a comment telling me what you think thank you so much bye